What happens when an arresting cable breaks on U.S. aircraft carriers? Imagine a U.S. Navy pilot embarks on a heart-pounding journey, flying towards an aircraft carrier at full throttle. Their destination? A tiny runway on a vast, unforgiving sea. It's an adventure filled with adrenaline and challenges at every turn. This exhilarating scenario can transform into a heart-stopping emergency in the blink of an eye. Think about a hurtling toward the deck, the roar of the engine deafening, and then the assailable happens. The arresting cable, your lifeline snaps. In this captivating narrative, we invite you to join us as we unveil what unfolds when an arresting cable breaks on U.S. aircraft carriers. It's a tale of high-stakes drama, heroism, and the enduring spirit of the men and women who brave these challenges. The crucial role of arresting cables. Let's imagine a masterpiece of engineering hurtling towards the deck of an aircraft carrier, its wings cutting through the salty sea air as it descends a critical safety feature. The arresting cables quietly await their moment to shine. These high-tension steel wires, barely visible beneath the relentless roar of jet engines, are the unsung heroes of carrier landings. They are the last line of defense, the final buffer between a speeding aircraft and the relentless expanse of the ocean. Their crucial role is simple, yet profound, to act as an essential break, slowing down the plane and bringing it to a safe and secure stop on the carrier's compact flight deck. In this high-stakes drama, we delve into the extraordinary measures taken when an arresting cable defies its duty, unraveling the gripping tale of resilience, composure, and expertise in the face of an unexpected, life-altering challenge. The consequences of a cable break. When an arresting cable snaps, it triggers a high-stakes drama on the flight deck. The aircraft hurdles towards the rapidly shrinking runway, losing its lifeline in an instant. Fearless pilots are left with no room for panic, only an intense race against time. With adrenaline surging, they rely on their extensive training and lightning-quick instincts. Every second counts in this cinematic moment. The pilot, drawing on their expertise, faces a crucial decision. Should they trust the backup arresting cables? Or is the situation so dire that diverting to another runway becomes the audacious alternative? The repercussions of a cable break extend far beyond the pilot's cockpit. The aftermath reveals a grim picture of potential damage. The aircraft might bear the scars of a forced landing. With looming structural damage and the possibility of write-offs, what was once a routine landing can, under the immense pressure of carrier-based aviation, swiftly transform into a harrowing ordeal with far-reaching consequences. The Backup Arresting Cable Located at the far end of the runway, the resilient backup cable is engineered to withstand the same incredible tension as its primary counterpart. It's ready to step into action in time of crisis. However, in some scenarios, even the dependable backup cable may be pushed to its limits. Factors like the aircraft's weight, landing speed, or the specific nature of the emergency can test the cable's capabilities. In these critical moments, the pilot finds themselves at a crossroads, facing the gravity of the situation. This heart-pounding decision launches a sequence of events, propelling both pilot and seat out of the stricken aircraft in a high-stake gamble for survival, showcasing the unwavering commitment to safety in carrier-based aviation, where seconds can make the difference between life and catastrophe. Pilot Ejection in Emergencies Ejecting from an aircraft is a pilot's last resort in emergencies. Ejection seats are equipped with powerful rocket motors to swiftly propel the pilot and seat clear of the stricken aircraft. Safety features with ejection seats offer crucial protection, including a protective canopy to shield against wind blasts and debris, automatic parachute deployment for a safe descent, and a survival kit for wilderness survival. Carriers bolster safety with rescue systems, including hovering helicopters on standby for mid-air rescues and safety nets on the carrier's deck exemplifying a strong commitment to crew safety in naval aviation, additional risks in carrier landings. Beyond the nerve-wrecking specter of cable breaks, carrier-based pilots navigate formidable challenges with unwavering resolve, one of the most formidable being the unpredictable crosswind. These gusts of wind, shifting in both direction and intensity, can swiftly turn a routine landing into a white-knuckle ordeal. Pilots must adapt swiftly to ever-changing conditions, continuously adjusting their control inputs to maintain a safe and precise flight path. Furthermore, engine failure, a nightmare scenario for any pilot, 
becomes even more dangerous on the confined expanse of an aircraft's carrier deck. During takeoff or landing, a malfunctioning engine can unleash catastrophic repercussions. With the deck often surrounded by the vast sea, pilots are thrust into a race against gravity in this challenging situation, making instantaneous, life-defining decisions to secure the aircraft's safety and protect the crew's lives. Emergency procedures on the flight deck. In the aftermath of a cable break, a well-practiced series of emergency procedures is initiated. Evacuating all personnel from the flight deck is the top priority to ensure their safety. Experts conduct meticulous damage assessments using a combination of visual inspections and advanced techniques like ultrasonic testing. Simultaneously, aircrafts are secured to prevent further harm, utilizing chalks, tie-downs, or strategic relocation. If a fire erupts, specialized carrier firefighting teams deploy hoses and foam, swiftly controlling and extinguishing the blaze. Once the immediate crisis is managed, a select group of technicians and engineers take on the intricate task of repairing or replacing the damaged cable, highlighting the carrier's commitment to rapid recovery and the resumption of operations. This coordinated response showcases the resilience and adaptability of carrier personnel in the face of unexpected challenges. Resuming flight operations. Flight operations resume promptly once the cable is restored and the flight deck is cleared. Ground crews prepare the aircraft for takeoff and landing with meticulous attention to every component. Pilots, returning from a life and death scenario, rely on their training and the deck crew's expertise. This exemplifies the seamless coordination of personnel and machines, showcasing the pinnacle of aviation achievement. Technology plays a pivotal role with advanced systems monitoring aircraft's performance and transmitting real-time data to the carrier's command center, ensuring safety and efficiency. This blend of human skill and cutting-edge tech forms the foundation of carrier operations, underscoring unwavering teamwork and a commitment to excellence. The complexity of carrier landings. Beneath the gripping drama lies a testament to human ingenuity and technology. Landing and taking off from a carrier deck in the vast, unpredictable sea is a marvel. The flight deck, where these high-stakes maneuvers unfold, is a small, rapidly moving platform amid the vast ocean, demanding precision and coordination as the carrier moves through the waves. The deck rises and falls with the sea's motion, requiring pilots to master their aircraft and adjust their flight path in real time. This showcases their skill and technological prowess. Pilots also contend with crosswinds, gusts, and shifting wind directions, reacting swiftly to ensure safety. It's a tribute to the skill and commitment of carrier-based aviators who navigate these challenges with remarkable precision. Certainly, here are the changes made to the last passage. Step-by-step -step look at carrier landing and takeoffs. Let's now explore the step-by-step -step process of carrier-based aviation, from preparation to recovery. Preparation. Pilots receive a detailed briefing covering essential factors such as wind speed, direction, and turbulence to guide their approach. Launch. The aircraft taxis to the deck's bow and connects to the carrier's launch system, which employs hydraulic catapults to propel the aircraft into the air for takeoff. Climbing. The pilot assumes control upon takeoff, ascending to a safe altitude where real-time decisions become crucial. Approach. During landing, the pilot approaches the carrier from the rear. Following a monitored descent pattern, the aircraft's tail hook is lowered to catch the carrier's arresting gear. Touchdown. The aircraft's tail hook engages with the arresting cables just before touching down on the flight deck. This moment is critical, requiring the plane to stop within a short distance. Recovery. Once halted, the pilot disengages from the arresting cables and taxis the aircraft to a secure location on the flight deck. In summary, Landing and takeoff from an aircraft carrier are remarkable feats of aviation, requiring a unique blend of skill, technology, and teamwork. It's a tribute to the courage and commitment of the men and women of the U.S. Navy who face these challenges daily. If you share our respect for their dedication, show your support by liking this video and expressing your gratitude in the comments. Have you worked on a flight deck or experienced carrier-based aviation? Please share your stories with us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell to stay updated. Thanks for joining us on this gripping journey into the world of carrier landings. Until next time, fly safe.